Under normal circumstances, tourist destinations are supposed to be attractive destinations that provide a relaxing atmosphere and nurturing environment. This is what attracts tourists in the first place. But among all destinations, there are some that are known to be quite dangerous to visit. With this being said, prepare, because here are the five most dangerous tourist destinations in the world. You don't want to miss this. Let's begin. Number 5. Trolltunga The Troll's Tongue is one of the most dangerous attractions in Norway. If you look at the site itself, you will definitely understand why it is one of the most dangerous places. The stone is elevated almost 800 meters high and takes 1 to about 10 hours to get to the top. In addition to that, there are no rails around the stone to protect observers from the top vantage point, and this even makes it worse. It is said that there is an Australian woman who plunged to her death from the stone this year, although it is the first ever recorded death in the Trolltunga. Number 4. Running of the Bulls This is an event that happens every year in Spain. In this event, six bulls are released onto the streets, and they are left to run freely for about 825 meters. The event attracts in excess of 20,000 people each year. Statistically, about 100 people get injured on annual basis, while over 15 deaths have been recorded since its inception. While they are at it, people might either be considered to be brave or just completely foolish by running in this event. How would you categorize these people? Let us know in the comments below. Number 3. Mount Huashan You want to go hike in the most dangerous place in the world? Then welcome to Mount Huashan. This is probably one of the most dangerous hiking places in the world. When you visit this place, it will not take you a minute to understand why it is dangerous. The wooden planks that have been aligned along the mountain could easily fall off any time one steps on it inappropriately. When the planks fall off, the only option hikers are left with is to step on the foothold. Otherwise, you have to let go. It is estimated that close to 100 people lose their lives on this mountain annually. So, next time you plan to hike on this mountain, take note of the statistics. Number 2. El Caminito del Rey El Caminito del Rey is one of the most dangerous walkways in the world. It's named so because Spain's King Alfonso once walked on it. It is only about a meter in width, but is linked between two cliffs that are about 200 meters apart and 100 meters in depth. However, over the years the walkway has been neglected and is currently in a sorry state to say the least. The path is currently closed to the public, but people steal chances to go and have a hike on the path. There have been over four deaths recorded since the path was neglected, and this could probably explain why it was closed to the public. Even though it is closed to the public, it is still so popular that money is being pumped into repairs in order to ensure it is reopened. Number 1. Death Road the Death Road is a road that stretches more than 69 kilometers and is found in the youngest region of Bolivia. Researchers have termed it as one of the world's most dangerous roads. There are several risks that are associated with this road. The first is the fact that the ground on which the road is built is unstable and not firm. This makes the road susceptible to mudslides, which also possess great risks to motorists. Another risk is the fact that the road has no side rails that are supposed to prevent vehicles from rolling over the descent that goes for more than 600 meters. Statistically, over 200 people fall victim of the road's unfriendliness and tourists are mostly advised to avoid it. And there you have five most dangerous tourist destinations in the world. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and share it. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below to get notified almost every single day with newer videos from Top 5's Finest. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we are out.